So hi everyone, I'm Hao Ming Li from Shanghai Jiao Tong University. Uh, I'm a first year PhD, and I'm happy here to present our work, Trajectory-Wise Iterative Reinforcement Learning Framework for Auto Bidding. So in online advertising systems, uh, when each time a user arrives at a web page or an app, an ad request will be sent, and the numerous advertisers will submit their bids to uh, participate in an ad auction, and the highest bidder will win the ad impression, uh, which means that he will have the opportunity to, to display his ad to the user. And this whole process should end in a very uh, short period of time. And also since users sequentially arrive, uh, each advertiser for each day will have to participate in uh, repeated ad auctions. So advertisers usually utilize auto bidding tools to, strateg to strategically report bids for repeated auctions in real time. And these auto bidding tools are actually data-driven decision-making agents, and their goal is to optimize for advertising performance of the advertisers, uh, for example, the total convergence for one day uh, within the daily budget. So there's actually an optimal bidding formula for this auto bidding problem. That is to say, uh, our bid for one impression should be the value of the impression uh, divided by a parameter lambda. So the value here could be a click-through rate, conversion rate, depending on the objective of the advertiser. And in the system, this value is produced by the real-time prediction module. But this lambda parameter, we should tune it online. So a common approach is to split each day evenly into multiple time steps. And our auto-bidding algorithm is to decide this, lambda, uh, this parameter lambda for each step. And this can be formulate, uh, formulated as an Markov decision process and can be solved via reinforcement learning approaches. Uh, so our action will just be the bidding parameter lambda t of this uh, time step. And our state should contain uh, information like time step, uh, consumed budget, remaining budget, cumulated value. And our reward should be the total value that we obtain within the current time step. Uh, but a problem occurs when we want to train an RL policy. So previous works, basically, they train their RL policies in simulated environments. Uh, so they will record the winning price of uh, historical impressions. And uh, uh, to decide if our bid will win the impression, we'll directly uh, compare it with the recorded winning price. So this is very simple, but uh, the real advertising system is far more complicated. Uh, it may have this uh, cascading ranking architecture, and also the auction mechanism may be learning-based. It may even be uh, parameterized by a neural network. Uh, so if we train in this simulated environment and we deploy our, our policy in a real system, there will be a seem to real gap. So in this work, we want to directly train an RL policy in a real environment. And there, there are mainly two challenges. Uh, first is that uh, uh, when we deploy our policy in a real environment, uh, during the online exploration, it may produce uh, unreasonable bids, uh, and which will uh, 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 hurt the advertiser's profit. And also, uh, data collection takes time. Um, to train an RL policy, we may typically need thousands or even millions of those transition tuples, and collecting those transition tuples takes a lot of time. So our first attempt is uh, to, to solve these challenges by offline neural algorithms. So these are algorithms uh, uh, that can train a policy from a pre-collected interaction data set. So suppose we have a data set DK here, and we can run some offline uh, algorithms, and we will get a policy pi k. And actually, we can deploy this pi k again in the system to collect more data. And by this additional data, we can again train a new policy based on offline algorithms, and we can uh, this cycle will continue until convergence. And here, the data collection can also be made parallel because uh, in the system, we will have many bidding agents that work for many advertisers. And this can be our parallel workers. And also, we should impose some safety constraints during this data collection process. So uh, uh, this iterative offline neural framework kind of solves uh, the, the previously mentioned uh, challenges. 
But in this work, we observed a, a severe problem with this iterative offline RL approach, that is the ineffective exploration and exploitation. Uh, so during exploration, we want to collect a data set uh, that, is, uh, that, that can cover a wide range of state and actions in the environment. So this often needs some randomness in the policy. Uh, but a random policy usually does not perform well. So, so as, as we can see in this plot, as the noise scale grows, uh, the exploration policy's performance decreases. And moreover, offline our algorithms, they're often uh, conservative, which means that uh, the policy trained by offline our algorithms will somehow imitate uh, the behaviors inside the training data set. So if our data set is full of suboptimal behaviors or low quality behaviors, this will also limit the trained policy's performance. So in this plot, the trained policy's performance is also decreasing. So in this work, we solve this problem through uh, trajectory-wise exploration and exploitation. Uh, so, so given a current policy pi k, we'll use our uh, proposed trajectory-wise exploration method to generate a uh, exploration policy pi k e. And during offline training, we'll combine uh, any offline R algorithm which are, with our proposed trajectory-wise exploitation method uh, to facilitate uh, more effective training. And we also proposed a algorithm uh, specifically for the safety during exploration. So the uh, exploration policy pi ek should be combined with our C's algorithm to ensure the safety. So now we dive into the details of the uh, proposed trajectory-wise exploration uh, algorithm. So we, we have already mentioned that uh, we need some noise in exploration. Uh, this, uh, uh, traditionally, we will uh, sa uh, sample an uh, action from the policy and add some noise on the action. Uh, uh, but there is uh, actually another way to do this. Uh, so for parameterized policies, such as uh, neural network policies, we can actually add some noise in the parameter of the policy. And this will give us a noisy policy. And we can use this for exploration. And our key observation in this work is that this parameter space noise will lead to a more dispersed trajectory return distribution. So this means that the data set collected by such parameter space noise policies will contain a relatively larger number of high return trajectories, and actually also a larger number of uh, low return trajectories. But these high return trajectories are actually val valuable because they contain a high performing bidding behaviors that we want our policy to learn from. So we can actually let the offline neural algorithm to focus more on the high return trajectories during training. And that is the idea of our trajectory-wise exploitation method. So we will sample high return trajectories from the data set with higher probability. And for a data set consisting of uh, n trajectories, and each trajectory has a return ri, and we will assign probability weight wi to the, uh, to the ith trajectory. And for larger ri, this probability will be higher. And details can be found in our paper. OK, and the last part of a method is a algorithm for safe exploration. So the definition of safety is actually acceptable performance drop, which means that the uh, uh, performance of the exploration policy should not be lower than 1 minus epsilon times the performance of some safe policy. So uh, the performance drop should not be higher than epsilon. Now, our idea to achieve this is for each, for each step, we would decide to use the explore, exploration action or a safe action based on both the quality of the exploration action and the cumulative reward, which is uh, how, how much reward have we accumulated till this time step. So our algorithm will uh, uh, check this condition for each step and uh, so this is what we call ad adaptive action selection. And actually, our, our algorithm is proved to be safe. safe. So we can theoretically show that uh, this, con uh, this uh, uh, definition of safety is always, uh, always guaranteed. So uh, we, 
conducted experiment in a simulated advertising system, and we will combine our method with uh, three different offline neural algorithms and comparing it with those baselines. And we can see that our uh, methods achieve near optimal performance within about five iterations and outperforms all the baselines. And we also conducted online experiment in Alibaba display advertising platform. And we can see that the, the performance, uh, uh, there is consistent performance growth uh, throughout the iterations uh, in terms of uh, by count, which is the total value and the re uh, which is the return of the, our, our algorithm and uh, also ROI and GMV growth. So to sum up, our goal is to train our bidding policies in real world, and we identified a problem with the a naive uh, iterated alpha in our framework and proposed novel methods, both for performance and for safety. And uh, we achieved superior performance in both offline and online experiments. Okay, so that ends my talk and welcome uh, questions.